we are going to look at traditional programming languages that were run on mainframe computers, Fortran and COBOL. I have installed them on this uh, PC, a Packard Bell 910C running Windows 98, which is the last operating system that ran in true MS-DOS mode. So that's what we're going to do now. Shut down the computer and restart in MS-DOS mode. So we will first go to the Fortran directory. And I have a source file test.for and I will open that with Microsoft Edit which is a very good editor because it allows you to look at columns and lines which is essential because the Fortran that I'm using is Microsoft Fortran 80 for CPM and this is essentially based on Fortran ASA standard 1966 which was basically the first American standard Fortran which could run on any machine and be machine independent as far as the instruction sets were concerned and Fortran was first developed by IBM in 1957 it is an optimizing compiler and it basically could compete with hand-coded assembly language which is why it became extremely valuable for scientists and physicists and still is to a large extent today now the reason why you want an editor that has precise column and line control is because originally these programs were entered on punch cards and on punch cards you have to have specific columns so for example this is column one you can put a C for comment two three and in this in this field you have the uh, labels such as this 10 which identifies a line and starting in column 7 is the actual coding so the first line is a comment Fortran 4 was one of the first programming languages to support source comments here I define or shall define a floating point number A value 15 B 22 C which is A times B and now I have a write statement the 7 is a logical unit number and for the screen we want a 1 there 10 is simply a number that identifies a format line and I'm going to write the value C which is A times B the format line is here and I'm going to deliberately put an error in integer 5 C is not an integer so there should be a runtime error then the program stops and ends okay so alternate file save and exit now we're going to call the compiler Fortran 80 object code sorry listing file object code file and the file to compile okay and now we see we have a relocatable object file test.rel and a listing file. We can look at the listing file and you can see here the assembly language code that the compiler created and this assembly language code runs on an IBM well actually it runs on CPM and I have a converter to make it run on DOS which we will discuss shortly. There are no compile errors
we now call the linker, which links the object codes with the library object code, which is here, Fortran library, relocatable, to create the actual executable code. Link 80 actually is the program. We will locate, we will uh, link test Fortran library and the name of the executable will be test and we exit the linker. And now we have the executable code, but for a CPM machine. This will generate the COM file for DOS. Here's the executable. Now there was an error in it, and we should get a runtime error. The data type does not match the format. So now we have to go back to our editor, edit the source code, and what I'm going to do is change these variables to types that are predefined as being integers. I, J, K are integers. These data types with these letters, starting with these letters, are reserved for integer values. Okay, save, exit. Again, compile. Link. Okay, generate the com file. And here is our executable. And there's the answer, 330. Forget what the question was. Fifteen times twenty-two is three hundred and thirty. So this is a very simple Fortran program, but Fortran has immense libraries for doing uh, trigonometry and uh, logarithms and exponentials and very highly complex mathematical equations. You can even program differential equations and uh, calculus. So this is what was used.